So you're finally going to take that epic pilgrimage to that video game mecca of Japan. And what trip would be complete without stopping at Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Japan in Osaka? But there's plenty more retro game fun to be had in Japan's second largest metropolis. If Tokyo is the flashy modern city of the future, Osaka has a more retro vibe to it, which is why I love it. Luckily, all the retro game places in Osaka happen to be in touristy places anyway, so you don't have to bore your friends and family who aren't into video games. The first stop is just north of JR Osaka Station, in the retro chic neighborhood of Nakazaki, at a place called Eremeka Laboratory. Eremeka is short for electromechanical games, which are sort of like proto video games. As the name suggests, they are a combination of mechanical inputs from the player and some sort of electrical response from the machine. These machines are super rare, and some of the ones on display here were built before World War II. But amazingly enough, you can actually play everything in the collection. Some of them are as cheap as 10 yen, and nothing is much more than 100 yen. If you want to understand how Japan came to dominate the world of video games, I'd say it starts with entertainment machines like this. The only place that I can think of that's similar is the Musée Mécanique in San Francisco. In my opinion, this underrated spot is an absolute must-see when you're in Osaka. About a 20-minute walk or a short subway ride to the other side of Umeda Station, and we have the Royal Game Center. Umeda is the main train station for Osaka, with tons of stuff to do nearby. But, in an underground shopping street connected to the station, you'll find Royal. This place isn't huge, but it has a great selection of games inside, and it's also one of the cleanest looking arcades that I've seen in Japan. The machines are all well kept and in great working order. The next stop is in America Mura, the hip and eclectic part of town where lots of young people congregate. This also happens to be home to, in my personal opinion, the best takoyaki in the city, Kogaryu. While your friends are waiting in line there, you can pop into Silver Ball Planet, a huge pinball parlor with a smattering of arcade cabinets for good measure. They have all my favorite pinball machines here, but also a Tron cabinet, which is one of my all-time favorites. They've even got some 50 yen and 10 yen tables for the price-conscious guests. All of the machines are in pristine condition, so it's worth it just to see and hear them all working. From here, you can walk through all the big tourist spots like Shinsaibashi, Dotonbori, and Namba. Just a short train ride away, you'll find Shinsekai, the home of the iconic TV tower called Tsutenkaku. This and Dotonbori are probably the most famous and photogenic neighborhoods in Osaka. But also in Shinsekai are two great retro arcades. Zarigani, which means crayfish in Japanese, is a decent sized arcade with lots of classics, including multiple afterburner cabinets, and any place with afterburner is worth going to in my book. The games are spread out over two floors, with the top floor being mostly traditional Astro City cabinets, and the bottom floor being the larger custom machines like shooters and train simulators and so on. If you cross over to the other side of Tsutenkaku TV Tower, you can find Kasuga, a retro arcade with some truly rare machines. This arcade has a nice mix between classic cabinets and truly old stuff that can't really even be called video games, as there are no monitors or video going on. They have more in common with the electromechanical games from Elemaka Laboratory. This whole area is full of mid-century entertainment parlors, with shooting galleries and food stalls. It's probably the most authentic Osaka experience that you can find. Sure, you can spend your time going to Nippon Bashi and hunting down all those old retro games that you want to play, but in my book, these arcades are really what separate Osaka from any other city in the world. Next time you have a chance to go, be sure and make some extra time to visit all of the places that I've mentioned here. I've included a link to a Google map with pins for all of the locations that I've mentioned here. It's in the description of this video, so be sure to reference that the next time you travel to Osaka.